I think another. There's there's a dog. Oh well. Hi, puppy. I always have trouble starting these. It's so awkward. Oh, it's very awkward. Your hair looks so much nicer than mine. It's just how. Which makes it look so much nicer than mine. But it's way hot. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and I still have my best friend Tia with me. Hi! We changed for no apparent reason. And this is her doggie, Yoko. Yoko's gonna say hi. She might like the camera. Hi! She's needy. She's very needy. Her other dog's next to that dog, yeah, too. Yeah, I've got a stack. <laughs> Only a few. So today we're going to be the guilty reader tag. I thought it'd be fun to do it together since we're both big readers and we're probably both guilty of some of these things. Possibly. I know I'm guilty. Dead I'm dead dead I know we're guilty. I'm, I'm guilty of a lot of these. Oh, it's always crooked. It's very crooked. I have trouble with this thing every time. See? Oh, she's licking me. <laughs> So the first question is, have you ever re-gifted a book someone else has given you? I don't think so. I haven't, I, I will just, I haven't re-gifted it, but I have donated it or taken it to a used bookstore to get like credit. Yeah, I've gotten rid of a yeah. lot of books that people have given me because I'm like, not even close. Yeah, you just never, like, no, nope. never reading that. No, nope. so, but I haven't <laughs> given it to someone else. Question two is, have you ever said you read a book when you haven't? I was an English major in college. Yeah. yeah. All the time. High school, lots, lots yeah. of times. It's the only way you can survive <laughs> with how much reading they give you. Question three is, have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? Yeah. Have you? Who's? Oh, actually, just the libraries. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just the library. Do you know what book it was? Oh, um, I want to say it was like The Hobbit. Oh. Yeah. Actually, now that you say that, I did have one because I was like, no, because like I have a few books of friends, but I, I'm going to return them eventually. <laughs> well, they're books that I don't really want to read. I just, it was also a library book. I can't for the life of me remember the name, but it was like about a girl who like time travels and she thinks. Well, she helps. It's weird. Like, I'm trying to think about it. She was, like, abused, and she gets taken in by this guy who's, like, a paraplegic, and so he, like, teaches her to be strong, and, like, she becomes a thief, and then she ends up going, like, he goes back in time, and she thinks he's dead. It's really weird. It's really weird. I just forgot I had it. And then I had to buy them a new one, so that it was cheaper to buy them a new book than... Return and pay Return. <laughs> yeah, because it was, like, a $30 late fee by that point. Question number four is, have you ever read a series out of order? Accidentally. Because I did not realize that it start, that I had grabbed, like, book four, and then I found out it was in a series, but then I did start it over. Okay, what series was it? Uh, I think it was, like, a romance, like, a paranormal romance okay. one. One of those ones one that have, like, 800... Like where you could really just... You could have started it. Just done standalone, but it did make a lot more sense once I started at the beginning. There was, I had the same issue. I read, like, the first chapter of this book in a magazine I was getting back in, like, high school. And I thought it was a standalone book. Like, this was when I was a new reader, so I didn't think to check if it was even in a series. So I read, it was the fifth book of the series, and I was kind of confused. And I found out it was the fifth book, and then I, I did go back and read it. The other one I read, out of order, and it wasn't the series itself, mm -hmm. but I read... Cause Tortal has multiple series. I read the second series first. Okay. Mostly because I didn't know that they were really connected. Question five is, have you ever spoiled the book for someone? On accident. I spoiled Harry Potter for my dad. I spoiled the fifth Harry Potter for my dad. Was it the fifth or the sixth? Which one does... If you guys haven't read or watched Harry Potter now, I don't feel bad spoiling this, but the one Dumbledore dies in. I think it's the sixth one. Yeah, I accidentally sp I accidentally gave that away. I told him that. That's yeah. You're he a was jerk. really mad. You're a jerk. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I 
I don't think I've ever spoiled a book for anybody. Because I often don't talk about books a whole lot when I mm. read. And I have the memory of a goldfish. So <laughs> I often don't remember what happened in a book so I can reread them over I always over. try to convince you to spoil books for me. I know. And I'm like very hesitant to do it. I always want to know. You've, was, you've spoiled a TV series for me. I? Yes. On purpose? I, I don't think so. Actually, I think you just figured I didn't care. And I'm just like... Yeah, I didn't know, and I haven't like, finished what? the series, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to. I try not to with TV series. I don't care if I'm spoiled. Like, I never care, but I try really hard not to do it to other people. Question six is, have you ever dog-eared a book? It's, like, the only way I bookmark anything. Yeah, usually I don't have a bookmark, so mm -hmm. I either, I will dog-ear it, or if it's a hardcover with a dust cover, I'll take the dust cover and... Oh, that's nicer than what I do, because I don't read my books with dust covers on them. I take them off because they bug the crap out of me, and I usually travel with my books, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm really worried about the dust cover getting damaged, so I just, I dog ear everything. When I'm reading, I take the dust cover off, and then when I'm done reading for the day, I will put the dust cover back on because I'm worried that it's going to get ruined, and a dog is going to sit on it. Yeah, you have that. I have a lot issue. of, like, smaller creatures that will take off with my paper um, dust yeah, covers. Yeah, her birdie. Her birdie would definitely Definitely take eat it. Yeah. Tyco. Would Tyco? Uh, he's more likely to chew a cord than a piece of paper. Question seven. Have you ever told someone you didn't read a book when you did? So the opposite of the first question. Or the second. Or whatever question that was. No. I don't see the point in that. I typically will just own up to crappy books that I've read because then yep. usually the other person has also read it and they don't like it. Yeah. Sometimes I kind of feel bad if I start ripping on a book though and so. He has read really it and love like, it. And yeah, I'm, like, oh. I'm more, I'm more <laughs> cautious about doing that than just saying I, I haven't. Like I'll say, yeah, I read it. I'm more likely to just be like, or if someone was like, oh, do you want to read this? To just straight up be like, no, no thanks, because Allison gave me the Fifty Shades, Shades of Grey book, the first book. I still have it on my bookcase. I've had it for a year and a half. I I won't. And I told her I was like, she's like, no, you'll love it. And I was just like, I'm not gonna read that. Mm. Sorry for anyone who loves Swifty Shades of Grey. Question, okay, I got these out of order. This is technically question seven, but they're right next to each other. Have you ever told someone you don't own a book when you do? Only by accident, maybe? If I didn't realize I owned it when I was talking about it. Yeah, I would. Well, actually, this one might, I might actually be legitimately guilty for, oh. because um, somebody wanted to read a series really bad, and oh, I had it, okay. and I did not want to give it to them, because I was really worried I was not going to get it back. See, yeah, uh, I would do it for I, that reason, I, I too. I feel like I ha that's probably one that I am legitimately guilty for. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just bad. I'm just like, yeah, you can borrow my book for, like, a year and a half. I hope I'll get it back. It depends on if I like the book a lot. If it's, like, one of my favorites, I will only give it to somebody trusted that I know I will eventually get it back. Right. Question number nine is, have you ever skipped a chapter or a section in a book? Definitely. There was a series I read. I have to go back and reread it because I haven't actually finished it. Um, I've talked about it before on my channel. It's called the Dragon Crown Cycle series. It's kind of a weird name. By Michael A. Stackpole. I read the first one in full and then I read the second one most of the way through. I've actually done this. I must have gone through a phase because I'm now thinking of other series I've done this for. Mm -hmm. um, and I just read because they were like split up into different chapters for like different characters they were following and I only read the chapters in with which... a certain pair. I think yeah. you told me about that. I've before. done it with that one and then something by Maggie Fury. It was uh, the first one of the book's names is Echo of Eternity. It's got a really weird series name. I'll link it or put it down below. Um, but I've done that for that one too. And I've had I need to go back and reread both of them because I got to the last book on both of them which was like I don't know what's going on. I don't think I know I've done it a lot for school, Okay. where I'm just trying to get through the thing because I know I have a test for it and I need to get mm -hmm. it read, at least in part. Um, but I've also, I actually have done it for Harry Potter before, oh. um, because I think it was part of like the stuff with the um, Dumbledore's army, sometimes that um, would get repetitive for me, Yeah. and anything with Cho Chang in it, I was getting sick of Cho. And I was tired of him talking about it, so like they had like a really romantic scene, and I'm pretty sure the first time I tried to read through it, I skipped it. 
because I was over it and I didn't want him with her anyway. Because I was like, she's kind of, I don't like her. I didn't not like her, but I didn't like, I just have no feelings about her. I was just like, she was well, there. Well, that's why I didn't like yeah. her. <laughs> I read those series now. If I read Harry Potter now, that might change. I kind of feel like one day I just need to sit down and reread all of the books and see how I feel about them now as an adult versus right. how I felt in the moment when I was first learn like first not learning to read, but first really getting into just, reading Yeah. to see how I would now, um, how I would analyze it now. Right. How I would feel about it now. now. you've grown mm -hmm. as a reader. Mm -hmm. I feel the same way, but then I keep getting distracted by other things. Yeah. Other books. And then the last and final question, number 10. Have you ever badmouthed a book you actually liked? Mm, no, I don't think so. Well, in part, but it was because at one, at one time I liked it, and then... After a while, I decided I did not like yeah, it. So it's like, it. in a part, I've li I liked it, but then later on, after I'm thinking about it, it just really made me mad. Um, the Twilight series. Yep. So that was my answer. I liked like... it in the moment. I liked it when I first read it, but then after, after a while, I was just like, why is this book so popular? Yeah, I was the same way. Like, I, I actually enjoyed it when I read it, but, like, I didn't understand the hype around it. Mm -hmm. It was, was just like over, and then like the more I talked to different people, and they were just like, "Oh, I found this thing wrong." I was like, "You know, you're right. Like that is an issue." Mm -hmm. Um, so it was more like I changed my mind about the book, not so right. Much yeah, I it was. wasn't so much like I was pretending to hate a book that I actually liked. I've never really found the purpose of that. Just because if I like something, I'm gonna, I'm oh, just I'm gonna like it. it. I'm not gonna lie about it. Cause yeah. if it's a good book, it's a good book. But yeah. yeah. Or if it's a bad book and I still like it, I'll just be like, this was a, this is not a good book, but I, I like it. Right. Like, I'm more likely to do that than to just be like, oh, no, I didn't like it. Right. When you read it and you're a liar. You're a dirty, dirty liar. Yeah. Yeah. I don't usually lie about books. Well, that is it for this video. And until the next time, ta-ta for now. Bye.